It's weather on demand for Wednesday, July 2nd. Your weather headlines, well, still watching some leftover moisture, but the sun will break out eventually. This morning, we keep it on the cool side, mainly clear and chilly overnight. So we take a look at area temperatures at the 8 o'clock hour on your Wednesday morning. We've definitely cooled things down, upper 40s, low and mid 50s. Here we have at the 8 o'clock hour, still watching some stubborn low-level moisture. And uh, lots of rain moving over towards downstate Michigan. Only isolated spotty rain showers now. And you know what? Those are beginning to wind down. We're on the back side of this front. You can see just on the back side, high pressure continues to build in over uh, northern Minnesota, parts of the Dakotas. And that means we will follow suit. Lots of sunshine on tap today. And around the country, you can see that old frontal boundary hanging around the Tennessee River Valley, Ohio River Valley. Here's Tropical Storm Arthur. This is probably going to strengthen to a hurricane in the next 24 to 36 hours. You can see a bit of an eye wall has developed now uh, and nice banding taking place. Good rotation. So that'll definitely be our uh, first hurricane of the season. That's going to work up towards that Atlantic coast and eventually phasing with this deep low pressure system that we've been dealing with for essentially a week now. Eventually that's going to get kicked out towards the uh, New England states. So we are watching closer to home. High pressure is going to continue to build in and that'll definitely provide more tranquil, sunny uh, weather for us. We start a slow warming trend, but today kind of a cool day as we work this moisture out of here. Steady northwest winds make it feel even cooler. So for your Thursday, tranquil weather prevails, high pressure, and a major weather player for us. And even into our early Friday, here's what it looks like. Broad high pressure, keeping much of the Great Lakes, the Mississippi River Valley. Nice weather on tap for your 4th of July, at least to start things off. We eventually see this high moving eastward. That'll set the stage for an increasing southerly flow ahead of that next front. And uh, that means we start to warm up certainly by Friday and into the weekend. Rain chances increasing for the weekend, but still only talking hit and miss variety. Back to today, some of the warmer spots. Well, we're top out to around 70 in some of the warmer places under mainly sunny skies. Cooler under that northwest flow, especially along the Superior shoreline. There's also a moderate swim risk, especially along Alger County. Use caution if you're going to head out. Water temperatures still in the low and mid 40s, though. Still, still not great beach weather for tonight. Some of the cooler spots of the interior west. Looks like we're going to dip into the mid 30s. Patchy frost not out of the question. Some of the warmer spots along the shorelines hang out into those low and mid 40s. So definitely a cool start to your Thursday. Now for your Thursday, uh, the rest of the afternoon will be a lake breeze developing. So the uh, Great Lakes shorelines are going to be coolest. We'll hang out in the mid to upper 60s. Warmer as you move inland away from those lakes. There'll be some limited cloud cover building in. All in all, it's a pretty nice day. Some of the warmer spots, mid 70s. TV six day forecast. So we stay dry for your 4th of July uh, festivities, especially in the daytime hours. A uh, stray rain shower or thunderstorm can't be ruled out late Friday night into your early Saturday. And then through the weekend, hit and miss rain showers, maybe some limited thunderstorm activity. It becomes warmer too with highs in the upper 70s, low 80s. Start feeling that hum humidity by then too. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.